Okay, each cell in the circuit shown has an EMF of 4.0 volts and an internal resistance of 0.5 ohms. Calculate the current and PD across the three ohm resistors. Okay, so these cells here, these three cells are in series with each other. I'm going to add the information on here with the internal resistance and EMF. So you can think of it as each time that a charge goes through um, the cell, it will gain 4 volts of energy. So the total EMF, because it has to go through all those cells, is going to be 4 times 3, 12 volts. Okay, the total resistance of the circuit is pretty straightforward because the current has to go through all of these resistors, including the internal resistance. You just have to add up all the resistance. So total resistance is going to equal 0 0.5 times 3 plus the 3 ohms. So that's going to be 4.5 ohms in total. So the current in the circuit is going to be total EMF, which is 12, divided by total resistance, 4.5. And that gives me a current through the circuit of 2.67 amps. To figure out the voltage here, I just simply apply Ohm's law. The current is 2.67 times it by 3, that gives me 8 volts. So the remaining uh, 4 volts is going to be shared across those three resistors, and that's the loss PD. Okay, same question again, except one of the cells has been reversed. As you can see, this one is connected the other way around. So in this case, instead of gaining 4 joules of energy per coulomb, it's actually going to lose 4 joules. So total EMF is going to be well, 4 volts plus 4 volts then minus 4 volts. So that gives us a total of 4 volts. The total resistance is still going to be the same because the current has to flow through all those resistors. It's still going to be 4.5 ohms. So the new current is going to be, if you just do total voltage 4 divided by 4.5, get 0 0.89 amps. And therefore the lost voltage, again applying Ohm's law, you get a lost voltage of 2.67 volts across the 3 ohm resistor. Okay, similar question here, except now the cells are in parallel. I'm going to add on the information. What I want to do is I want to calculate the potential difference in the current through the 3 ohm resistor here. There's many ways of doing this. One of the ways I'm going to use is conserving energy and current in a loop. So I'm going to consider this loop. I could use any loop, but I'm just going to consider one loop there. Okay, so before I start, I define the current that's flowing in this circuit. Okay, so I'm going to say the current flowing through the resistor, the 3 ohm resistor is going to be I. Okay, so now, because the current is going to split up across these cells into these branches, the current through each cell is going to be I over 3. It's going to split up evenly between these branches because they have the same internal resistance. Okay, now I can consider the energy in, in one loop. So when a charge goes through this cell here, it's going to pick up 4 joules per coulomb, or 4 volts. It's going to have to use that by the time it comes around. So somewhere it's going to get used inside this, inside the internal resistance. So to figure out how much that the lost PD is there, I can just do the current, which is I over 3, according to my definition there, times the resistance, 0 0.5. Okay, the rest of the energy, as it goes around, is going to have to get used across this, the load. So the current through the load times the resistance of the load, I times... 3. Okay, now if you notice there's I that's in common in both. Okay, I'm going to take that I out. That gives me 0 0.5 over 3 plus 3. And then divide both sides by that. And that gives me a current of 1.26 amps. Then the voltage across the load is just going to be the current times the resistance of the load. That gives me 3.8 volts across the load. Okay, another way to do this exact same question is to consider the total EMF and the total resistance in the circuit. Now, the total EMF is how much energy each charge gains when it does a loop around the circuit here. Now, because it only has to go through one of the cells, it's the total EMF is just going to be 4. Okay, it only has to go through one, so it picks up four joules per coulomb. Now, the total resistance, to figure that out, we need to figure out how the current flows in the circuit. Now, the current has to go through this 3 ohm resistor, and then it splits up. Okay, it goes through these different cells. Okay, so we can think of those cells as being parallel with each other. So the total resistance of those cells that are in parallel with each other, we just use the parallel resistor formula here. 
Okay, it turns out that's just going to be 0 0.5 uh, divided by 3. And then I need to add on the 3 ohm resistor because all the current has to flow through the 3 ohm resistor. Now that gives me a total resistance for the circuit of 3.17 ohms. So therefore, and if we just do total EMF divided by the total resistance, I get the exact same as answer as I had before, 1.26 amps flowing around the circuit.